Welcome, one and all, to the adventures of Varma the Bard turned kind of horrifying warlock, but we'll talk more about that in a second. When we left off yesterday, we had a new event from the Dungeon Master, and as I was, was alt-tabbing in to record this episode, I accidentally closed it. So here's a video I prepared yesterday. So we have the Fountain of Youth Uncovered. During routine maintenance in the Temple of Shifa in al Dejer. That's what we need to look for here. A great wellspring was discovered unlike any other. Through the rock face beneath the fountain flows a seemingly unlimited source of crystal clear glowing water. Believing it to be a divine gift, the local ruler of the province has bathed in the waters and drank deeply, only to discover that their strength grew rapidly and the ravages of time seemed to be reversed. The local holy man has declared the site as sacred, with only the blessed ruler being allowed entrance into the divine fountain. Though for some jealous rulers, perhaps this may not be enough to prevent their curiosity. Bountiful health and long life, we ask? Well, that's right. In the province of... Let me just take a look here. al Dejer. What's the betting? I'm not going to be able to spell that one. We have the Fountain of Youth discovered. The Dungeon Master may have played a role, of course, in placing that particular uh, Fountain of Youth. al Dejer. There it is. Oh, you know what? It's within striking range. Oh my god, it's within the Empire of Gary. <laughs> uh, well, there it is anyway. Uh, where is the Fountain of Youth? Uh, they say it was in a temple, right? It was in this one here. There it is, the Fountain of Youth. 25% to the levy size, 25% to the garrison size, 50% to the disease resistance, 3 to the hospital level, and plus 0.25 piety to their liege. The mythical Fountain of Youth was discovered in the foundations of a temple in this very province. Naturally, the ruler of the province takes a great interest in such a find. So now the ruler of that particular province can, uh, from what whatever I recall making this event, uh, I'm pretty sure they can drink from it every now and again to literally lose life. Uh, as in, sorry, lose years off of their life. It will disappear. So, sorry, let's take a look at the uh, Dynasty of Gary, because that's something we ignored. What the fuck am I looking at? Gary Gary the Hammer of Gary. He is a lunatic possessed man with a strange illness. He's zealous, lustful, deceitful, arbitrary, envious, gregarious, proud, cruel. He's a socializer. He's a master schemer. He's a hedonist. He's in hiding. Oh, interesting. He's an Ashari. Oh, the, the Empire of Gary converted over to Islam. He's club footed. He dislikes Arabic culture, probably because he's been very persecuted given that he is Gary culture. Uh, but however, he's brawny, he's ugly, astute, attractive. What the fuck? He's immortal? <laughs> Why? All of these NPCs have the most interesting lives, and we're just dude up in Iceland. Fuck off. I bet I know what's happened there. So the fact that he's got attractive and unsightly, which are normally opposite traits... I bet where the trait shifted, where one of the mods updated, remember a while ago, it was like 50 years ago, whatever. Gary spawned in before that happened. And as a result, Gary hit the lottery hard when the traits all got shifted when one of the mods updated. He got shifted into immortality. Highly suspicious. Magical corruption. Magic immortal Gary of his Moroccan empire. I'm in awe. I'm in awe that everybody is doing cooler shit than us. So you know what? This is going to fucking change today. Mark my words. So one thing to clarify is yesterday, uh, during yesterday's episode, I said that Eldership isn't that good. What I meant by that is that Eldership is very, very good from a meta CK2 perspective. In terms of succession lords within CK2, it's very good. I agree with you. But we're not worried about the meta of CK2. The whole point of the series is not to be min-maxing and worried about the most... Uh, you know, powerful succession laws. It's about playing the character. And our character wants glory and power for his dynasty. And what I was talking about yesterday, and what I meant by yesterday, is having the future of the realm dictated by five random old men is not glory and power for our dynasty. It's in fact quite the opposite. Because all of these old men hate us. And all of these old men are voting for Yedvard the Ruthless, our uncle, rather than our main branch of the family. And as far as glory and power for our dynasty goes, having these five men basically run Iceland is really not up there. So we need to we need to do something about that. We're going to vote for Fatarm, of course. Uh, these guys are... They will vote for him if they like us. But the problem is they don't like us. Look. Our candidate is an unexperienced commander. He's a child. They don't like him. Uh, he's an infidel. He's an unexperienced commander. I dislike him. 
See, it's uh, th it's going to be really hard to manipulate things in our favor with this eldership unless we're very careful about doing that. And again, we're not here to meta game, you know. And that's why I want to remove it. Either way, our guy, as a reminder, is a bard with an interest in dark knowledge, forgotten lore, and such things. Hence, we've joined the Fellowship of Hell because the Hermetic Society wouldn't let us in because they scorned us. They said we're an idiot pagan. We'd taken a special interest in particular, same as our grandfather did, the founder of this dynasty, in those old Norse artifacts. We tried to steal Mjolnir, failed, and in return had our helmet confiscated. So we have a blood debt against Sweden, a vendetta against Sweden. Someone in the comments, though, pointed out that, of course, there's Galahorn, which our grandfather was after. There's Mjolnir that our character's been after, given that he has a special interest in magical items. Someone pointed out, for a bard character, there is nothing more perfect than Braggy's harp. Assuming I can find it. Is it Braggy owning Braggy's harp? Maybe Braggy's harp hasn't spawned in. That's very possible. There is Wolf. Uh, he does have Braggy's harp. It's two Gs. There he is. And it's actually on the UK. Okay. Or in Pictland at this point in time. Uh, okay. We could absolutely get that. It's a coastal province. He is under the Kingdom of Scotland. Or Pictland, I should say, at this point. So if we do try and raid that, we could be up against a good 5,000 men. But Braggy's Harp, a magical artifact which our guy has a unique interest in. Plus the fact that our guy is a bard by, you know, interest. That could work very, very well. Either way, we're outside Sweden right now. Uh, this was the previous king of Sweden. It was, of course, d doomed, done for. So we're going to turn up and see if we can burn down this capital. Or oh, someone else is sieging him right now, unfortunately. Elf gear. So we're going to have to wait for Elf gear to fuck off before we can move in and burn it down. Oh! The charismatic preacher has converted me. The old Germanic creed is the true faith. If we convert back to old Germanic, I think I talked about this before, there is no way that we can reform the religion, is there? We can't make our own religion again because it's al it already exists. There might be a mod for that, though. Uh, no. No, it's okay. We'll stick with this very, very overpowered religion for the time being. We can't make a religion as powerful as the AI. What? Sounds like someone might have just been sacrificed there. We can't make a religion as powerful as the AI. The AI used an exploit, again, because the AI is the sweaty player I dream of being right now. The AI used an exploit to make a religion far more powerful than we ever could. Another daughter named Svanhilda. We're not doing very good for inheriting traits this time around. Svanhilda, we'll see how your personality comes up before we start educating you. How are we looking with our other children, then? So, Gila, we have put... Did, did she end up with rowdy and affection? I really don't remember. Either way, we've started training her in in that. So she has that one. Uh, Fat Arm Varmason. Oh, Idolizer Willful and Rowdy. Okay, I can fuck with that. Now, bear in mind, Fat Arm was going to be a barbarian. So that's going up pretty well for him. Then we've got uh, Gudrun, who is... We're, we're training in humility because she is attractive. Oh, comely in this situation. Svanhilda, fresh baby. Uh, you know what, fresh baby? Let's train you in thrift. Thrift is just the generic safe choice. Because of what these traits become. Shrewd is a plus two to everything. It's the non-inheritable version of quick. And then fussy become, become either patient, greedy, or paranoid. All of which are arguably good traits. We're here to play the character though, so I'm not worried about that one too much. Pope Slayer. She got shrewd. Holy shit. And she's willful. This is what I'm talking about. About waiting to see how the child develops before we pick their education, their focus. Um, her best bet would be Marshall. And the reason I say that is because she has Shrewd, which gives a bonus to their education anyway. I'm going to educate her in Marshall. I'm going to throw her a good commander. Oh, I mean, we could, we could educate her. Our guy has a training in, in such things. In fact, we're basically the best educator for her anyway. So we'll go ahead and educate Pope Slayer as our, as, as our future maybe successor. And then we'll also, of course, go ahead and educate Fat Arm as well. Uh, and the reason I'm picking us, even though there are people with a higher martial stat, we've got more preferable traits, and your guardian's traits affect how good the kids come out, right? So, brave, ambitious there being quite nice. We're dull, which makes us a worse educator, but I would rather take that risk and have full control over the child's education than give it to some random, you know, dude in our court. We could import a Chinese educator, we could request one from the emperor, and, and they could have us send a teacher over to our court. How are we looking? 0.42 gold. That's because we've been sieging things that are off coast. Do you want to piss off Alfgear? Alfgear's gone. Move in. I'm here for me on there, old man, and I won't take no for an answer. He's got it equipped and he's in prison, right? And he's got a helmet equipped. That motherfucker. Well, we'll steal something from him, I'm sure. He's got so many artifacts. His chance of getting nothing at all is very slim. There's a trade route. Is there really? Wait, there's a trade route? 
No, there's fucking not, you goddamn liar. I was going to say, it's a shame that there haven't been more mods adding trade routes that expend all the way across. I thought Floki's did that, but I might be misremembering. Uh, all right, no, 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 there's no there's no trade route. I'm not interested. I'm sorry. That might be our foreign profit or something like that. Um, one added by an event. I really don't remember. Either way, it doesn't matter. Oh, shit. Somebody else has looted it already. Bollocks. Upland, do you have anything of value? Oh, you have Galahorn. Right, let's get back on the ships. Let's try and grab Galahorn. That was the one that our grandfather, Varman the First, was so desperate to get. Let's grab that. How many troops he got there? Not many. Let's go into Suderman land and then move up, I suppose. Somebody sent us a request and you see that and it disappeared. I know that we can rank up and there's important decisions, but we'll focus on one thing at a time. Uh, yeah, sure, allow the duel. Risky river crossing, but I'm sure we're going to lose a couple of troops. Oh, we got someone. Elder Ragnar. Hey, that's good. Okay. And let's burn this shit down. Give me Galahorn, tiny child. Galahorn can't be equipped. So, oh my god, this spy master is just churning out the tech points, eh? Um, I kind of feel like... That gives us the ability, apparently, to adopt feudalism. I'm not sure about that one. Um, I'm not sure I want any of these for the time being. I mean, legalism is just so much better. Uh, let's, let's leave it for the time being. Oh, let's, let's not worry about tech when we're in the middle of a very important raid. Jedvard, look. You're our heir. I like you. I don't care about everything you do. I'm taking you off a of special interest. You're actually kind of getting quite annoying with your sacrifices and artifacts. It's not jealousy. No, no, no. It's not jealousy. You might think it is. Holy crap. You might think it is. And it, okay, it is. Galahorn, though. You Shit. What have you got? Anything for me? He's got the Gestra Denorum. No, I think I'm all right. So where were we heading over to? It was somewhere over in Pictland. Oh, my God. Yedvard died of cancer. Happy day. I mean, obviously not for <laughs> Yedvard or the 15 children he's left behind there. Fat Arm is now by default our heir. That's good. We don't have to worry about those pissing elders. Okay. So one of them is happy. He's kind of okay. Oh, that's because that's us, of course. We get an election in our own realm, funnily enough. Uh, oh. My marshal discovered a man of great military talent. Yeah, he's actually pretty good. Excellent. Thank you. Join me. We'll worry about commanders and whatnot in a second. Let's finish our raid and then let's get... Oh, shit. They went for Elder Cole. My uncle, Elder Cole. He is pretty good. Shrewd mystic, but he's not what I want. When our son comes of age, chances are they'll just vote for him anyway. It's the next logical successor. If he comes out a good character too, that'll be even better. Right, now this is going to be a risky raid. I won't lie to you. Scotland or Pixons at this point. Very powerful. A lot of troops. They could just immediately clap our little cheeks without so much as a... Yep. So much as a care in the world. Although, we've got hills and they're crossing a river. We might be able to fight off their troops, but I don't think we'll have enough troops left over to finish the raid, unfortunately. Oh, we got back on the ships. Fuck, I should have just stood my ground. Uh, ah! My marshal and brother in darkness, Smirker, is feeling lasciviousness. And suggested we might stage an impromptu orgy in honor of the Great Serpent. Uh, what a lovely idea. I'll wear my horned helmet. Demonic orgies can be rewarded, but remember that Loki is a cruel master. Oh. Uh, well, we've accidentally killed the man during an orgy. Oh, it's the new guy that we recruited. Shit. My memories of last night are dreamlike. There was a lots of smoke, a cackling old crone, and a nubile young woman with a long tail that could do all sorts of things. Oh, and there was a loud midget ordering me and Smirka into various interesting positions. Don't think that's a term that you're allowed to say anymore, but never mind. I never realized I liked them that way. Let's do this again sometime. A man named Varn appears in the court of King Varma the Daft, but Guthroda dies. Uh, who was Varn? Oh, there he is. Holy. Oh, he's the dwarf. <laughs> okay. Um, I mean, you're a very good spy master, little little dwarf man. And he's more sneaky. Sorry, that's really cruel. Well, I'm not offensive things. It'd be like, oh, you can't say midget paradox. It would be like, he's sneaky. Ah, let's get this raid done. Hopefully they won't come back over because, look, 796 troops isn't probably going to be enough. Again, for the hills and the river crossing. They probably won't do it. We didn't get anything anyway, unfortunately. We could burn this temple down. The problem is we're giving them time to reinforce. Now they might try it. Oh, God. Come on. Just burn it down. Just burn it down. Allow the jewel. I don't care, Carl. Uh, Pope Slayer is developing a stubborn streak. Chance of becoming proud or will or stubborn. I mean, either doesn't really matter. I would prefer proud, though. Stubborn can be kind of a pain in the ass for diplomacy. Oh, we managed to capture someone. And that temple have 50 gold. Those rich priests. 
Thank you. Well, we should try raiding the UK a bit more, given it's all splintered. I don't know why I keep calling it the UK, given that it's not very united, but never mind. And I'm not just talking about 2021. <laughs> ah, thank you for the gold. Right, let's level up then. So let's drop our... Let's drop our troops. Let's drop our fleets. Characters can rank up in a society, so we can sacrifice a virgin. That lady in our court might be a virgin. Uh, she's 36. She has a child. All right, I think it's fairly safe to say she's not acceptable for that. Um, worry about the, the whole virgin sacrifice in a second. What we can do is rank up to the next level in our society, which normally comes with some new clothes. But we have been promoted to Vicendamada. Wow. Summon familiar, tainted touch, and demonic possession. Look at that. Summon familiar, tainted touch, demonic possession. So we can summon a familiar with dark magic. That'll allow us to bring about like a raven or a crow. I don't remember what it exactly is, or like a, a cat. Oh, this music's so loud, isn't it? Wowee. I apologize if that's completely drowning me out. I don't think it's been a problem so far, so we won't worry about it too much. That gives us some new things. What I want to do first and foremost, though, is build an observatory. Our guy, with the interest in the old lore or whatever, we've got the scholarship focus as our current focus. If we build an observatory, maybe we'll find something secret about the night sky. And of course, being in Iceland, prime, prime, prime place to look at the night sky, huh? You begin the construction of an observatory. It will take you some time to collect all the necessary materials and get everything in order. Oh, I can't wait. Brilliant. Okay. And we'll build some more buildings while we're, while we're home as well. Court physician, Cole, I think you're a safe bet. Although our heir as our court physician might be a debatable choice. I'm going to make uh, Bian instead our our court physician. The other guy might poison us on purpose so that he can steal our, our throne, which I'm not really up for, I'll be honest. I'm as a parliament. Um, let's, let's make Cole a member of parliament. Give him some power, enough to make him happy, but nothing that's really relevant. And then we can make Fatah, my young son, a, a member of parliament, which I'm sure people will be really, really, really happy about. There you go. Perfect. Okay, so upgrade some buildings then. A war camp. I, I think I, I kind of replied in this uh, to a comment with someone um, where they were saying, you know, you can raise your retinue cap with buildings. Absolutely, you can. But given that we don't have the basic building in a tribe, I think we're going to focus on that first. So we're going to spend 250 prestige on that. Honestly, in all the other promises, anything that gives us gold, I'll take. Um, like a naval supplies merchant. It's very expensive though, isn't it? Bowie. You know what? We could build a berserk barracks everywhere else for that same price. And that right now, more berserkers, more troops mean more gold. So I'm happy with that one. We'll take our Huskal training ground there. Why not? Okay. So, let's do this quest for our fellowship power. What's the other important decision? Oh, worship the ancestors. Sure, we'll do that. Uh, we want prosperity and growth for our realm. Well, we do want glory for the dynasty. So I suppose you could interpret that as either one of those. Let's go for prosperity and growth. We want to bring about glory and riches. We're going to sacrifice that lady that we captured from, from, uh, from Pitland. Ori. We got some uh, throat singers in for that one. The offering struggled violently when the Godian and the disciples pushed it down on the offering stone. The ancestors will surely be pleased with such a figure of servant. May the ancestors bestow their blessings upon me. I surely hope they do, given that the last two times nothing has happened with either. Someone's trying to kill us. Do we know about it? Sif? Sif, what the fuck? It's still... Wait, was Sif not the one before that was doing it? Uh, with the lady who poisoned our wine? I don't entirely remember. Sif? We could abduct her. She's not a virgin because she's got a child, but you know, we could just sacrifice her anyway because fuck her. See if I will teach you a lesson. You have messed with the wrong man. Oh god. Earth Hill Fort has been built, which is great. Hjalmar of Hjalmar's host has been gathering a band of warriors to raid foreign lands. Good luck with that. I thought we were facing a. Uh... Oh, he's raiding me! You son of a bitch! I was about to say I thought he was about to try and raise troops and take our provinces. You can't just raise people in Iceland and then... Oh, okay. We're going to have to meta this a little bit, unfortunately. Abduct Sif. Ah! Oh, little Sif. Tried to have my wine poison, did you? And as I recall, when we just turned of age, you tried to have someone push us off the walls, Sif. Why about this one? I'm going to... We could torture her and put her into the fellowship, but I feel like giving her demonic powers might not be a good idea. Instead, I'm going to sacrifice her to hell. This may have repercussions on my soul. Ah! Oh. Sif looks dazed as she is dragged down to the altar, but you can see a dawning comprehension on her face as she is tied down. You got more than you bargained for, Sif. Vengeance has been served. Now, the gamble on that is you get, basically, a free, very sneaky murder. People won't be that suspicious of you, unless you do it too frequently, at which point you will literally become suspicious. But the gamble with that is the dark magic and the use of these powers and the sacrifice might corrupt us more and give us other negative traits. Right, we put Varma on the center. Push all the troops on the center. Then, just as we're about to arrive, 
We raise the troops in. Uh, if we raise them now, they'll just get annihilated because they'll raise up. They want a much morale. They're kind of, you know, not really prepared. They've been drilling. How long until we get there? 21st of August. Oh, the observatory is finally ready. Well, that's good. Someone might be burning down the capital, but. Oh, no! I fought that one up. I fought that one up by unpausing too soon. It's okay. We're still fine. Don't worry about it too much. My wife wants a bird. Uh, here, have a fucking falcon. 25 gold. It gives her a lot of opinion. And she gains some diplomacy. And bear in mind, she's our wife, so half of her stats are added to her own, and she's a counselor too. There you go. It's okay. Even though I ballsed up the pausing there. Funny you could turn the speed down in this game, huh? Even though I ballsed that up, we're still okay, so don't worry about it. Are you training troops and everything? Oh, let's get you training troops. We need spy master. Well, I guess it's time for Elder Van, the sexual dwarf. Uh, I'm gonna make you <laughs> make him our mistress. We make you a member of parliament, and I'm gonna send you a gift. We could give him like, uh, let's make him a herdman. I'll try and win this guy over because he's a very, very good spy master with 19 skill. Uh, but he also might fuck us up. If we could convert him, he'd like us a little bit more with that too. Oh. Stories abound of ghosts frequently passing through a village in Vestersand. The locals are of two minds, unsure on how to react to this. Some are terrified and believe it best to send holy men and women to exorcise these restless spirits. Others view this as more of a rational lens, seeing it as a blessing and an opportunity to honor and say prayers for the dead. Strange stories indeed. Who knows what the truth is? Vestersand will either gain tax or gain a revolt risk because they're either blessed or cursed. And they are blessed by local spirits. That's quite nice. What are we doing? We started something important. Oh! The Filcra have said that there are more favorable stars. That's good. What was he doing? I was trying to win you over. Ah, oh, there you go. We're waiting for a demand uh, conversion. Our wife has turned into a thumb. Wife, please stop stuffing yourself. There you go. 59 opinion. That's good enough for me. That is more than good enough for me. Can we give him a marriage too? I like this guy. I will give you a royal daughter. Matrilineally, of course. That's fine. There you go. See, what a good day to be him. We've, we've really... Really arranged some very favorable stuff for him. We've made him very loyal, and in return, he's a very good spy master. I think a demonic dwarf, a demonic sexual dwarf as a uh, spy master, not what I expected. But you know what? I'll take whatever we can fucking get at this point, okay? You got Sweden over there basically becoming an embodiment of Thor. You've got immortal Gary. Meanwhile, my best thing is a sexual dwarf. <sighs> These lessons will prolong my life. An old assassin has taught me how to thwart the efforts of his kind. Thank you. We've gained one intrigue, which isn't very good, but it's something. Do you want to read a book, or do you want to take the eagle out for a hunt? Um, I guess it would be a falcon. Um, I mean, I guess it could be either. Uh, I'm going to read the book, because our guy's all about that. And if he becomes a poet, my god, if he becomes a poet. My liege, please listen to me. The woman you are so fond of is no more than treacherous, despicable snake. Queen Lee J. Le Ju. J. J. U. G. U. I can't, I can't read today. Try to convince me to be more careful about my friends. I did not know. The woman you are so fond of. What, you mean Ragnar? Rag Ragnar's my friend. Oh, the friendship between Ragnar and King Farmer ends. Oh, well, never mind, I suppose. Hey! Bard backstory solidified. That, what an incredible outcome. We might not be Thor or Immortal Gary, but we do have a sexual dwarf, and now we're leaning into the character very heavily. Aspiring poet. It couldn't be any more perfect. Incredible. And a lot of people did point out in the comments yesterday that bards are known for their uh, apparently seducing everything. Again, I've not really played D&D at all, uh, but I'm aware of the memes about bards being sexual beings. Well, the one thing we've done in our society of note is have an orgy with a sexual dwarf as to reiterate. <laughs> and now we're a poet. I mean, you can't deny this is going perfect. You spent many nights looking at the stars in your observatory. It's truly fantastic. There are so many questions to ask. How do the stars move? Or is there... Something strange out there. Gain five prestige. We do need prestige, given that we have absolutely taken a beating on that front. We'll wait for our troops to reinforce, and then we'll immediately get back out there and try and burn down some stuff. Pope Slayer is brilliant strategist. Inspiring leader is one of the best martial traits going. 15% morale defense, 15% morale damage. She came out wrathful. Craven is not ideal, but she's very good at leading troops. Not very good at maybe fighting herself. Content, paranoid. She is a very, very good character. 22 Marshall, in fact. Oh, dear. All right, we'll talk about you in a second. That would make her almost... It's a point of a shield maiden. She accepts your offer, but will, you will lose 50 gold, but gain 50 prestige. She gains 150 uh, prestige and becomes a shield maiden. There you go. Pagan opinion. Personal combat skill plus 10. Religious same trait opinion plus 15. Monthly piety 
Scattered as a shield maiden, recognized for her remarkable bravery. Well, not quite. And spirit. She may also be made a commander. What if Pope Sire slays the Pope? She's actually not only our one of our best commanders, she is literally the best commander we've ever got. Inspiring leader is so good as well. Uh, I knew I was right to trust my gut regarding Pope Slayer. The woman accepted my promotion. She is now my new steel maiden. I have a good feeling about this. Well, I simply adore animals, exclaims the dungeon master while playing around with the kitten, making it chase a peacock feather. The tiny ones, the big ones, the ones with the sharp teeth that will eviscerate you in a moment's notice. He looks up at you and smirks wildly. Would you like your own pet? Only 50 coins and it could be yours. I promise it won't die. Uh, another time, perhaps. Or I'll buy one. A randomly chosen pet will appear on your character screen as a character modifier. All, all are permanent and beneficial. All rulers will be given an option to buy a pet of their own. Okay. I mean, given that all rulers are getting it, I feel like we have to take that. What did we get? Uh, pet shop. Snake. We got a snake. Intrigue plus two, assassination chance plus 10%. This character was given a snake by the dungeon master. And in fact, how long till we can summon a familiar? 500 dark power. So we're very, very close. So we've got to do a sacrifice of virgin. We'll have to go and kidnap someone in our court, I guess. Uh, oh no. This, this, this dynasty. This poor dynasty. I'm so sorry. Uh, demonic possession. No, I want to abduct her. Why can't we abduct her? They're not now caught. Wait. Yeah, they are. Why can't I abduct you, tiny child? Demonic possession. I don't want to do that. I want to abduct her. I don't know. Oh, well. Um, Bodil? She's married. Cracker? She's 21. She, she might be... Ah, oh, there you go. Attempt to abduct. She might be viable. Excellent. I don't know how they track her. I guess they had a character flag or something. Well, bizarre. Right, we need prestige. Oh, approve the scheme. This might give us some prestige. There we go. We've got her. And then, Cracker. Goodbye, my friend. Sacrifice to hell. And it does work. Sacrifice a virgin. There you go. Perfect. Oh, that was quick. Dead as dicks. And that should give us the dark power. We need to now summon a familiar as well. A cat. Lord of Beasts giving intrigue plus three. Might not be bad given that our intrigue is very, very low for someone who's in a society of devil worshippers and schemers. A wolf shall be my protector given martial intrigue. I summon owl, master of the night, intrigue and learning, or the raven shall grant me its wit. I feel like a raven for a bard is a lot more appropriate. Not to mention we're Norse as well, so a raven is very appropriate given that Odin had ravens. Maybe they were crows, who knows? Uh, a raven will grant me its wit. Okay, give me that. More than happy. We've got a raven and a snake. That's pretty good. Oh, but it could be that I'm using the powers of the Fellowship of Hell too freely. People are becoming suspicious. We are now under suspicion. That means that the Filka may send the Inquisition in. We've improved our intrigue enough, though, because of our raven. Nice. We can pick a new ambition. Um, build a war chest. What do you think? We need 500 gold to fulfill that one. It gives 10% national tax or mass wealth. 500 gold gives us one stewardship. What you can do is you can do this one, get the 500 gold, spend a little bit, and then get back up to 500 gold from like 499 and fulfill two ambitions for one. And we want to amass glory and power for our dynasty, and I think that's a great way to do it. Which is fucking troops are reinforced faster. Ah! Oh! My modest attempt to write poetry was never meant to be published anyway, but wherever I go, bards and minstrels are reciting and singing my poems. Of course I know him. He's me. Of course, we're a poet. Diplomacy plus one, same trait opinion plus ten. Thank you. Tell me we're not playing the power. Oh, God. Dark magic has corrupted us. What do we get? Magical corruption. Lower martial, lower diplomacy, lower stewardship, lower, lower learning, lower fertility, lower personal combat, and plus health. But it will expire in five years' time. We need to be careful about all this dark magic. Thank you. I don't know why that event keeps popping up before a quest. I'm not complaining. It's three points. Hell has demanded another soul be... Ah! Oh, I had a heart attack then for a second. Hell be... Hell has demanded another soul aid us on a glorious mission. Bewitch Bian Wenjing and make him your loyal servant, willing or not. Bian? Bian, my friend, we have to demonically possess him. Well, firstly, we should probably convert him. That'll make him like us a bit more, maybe a bit more trustworthy of us. Actually, he's identical. Demonic conversion, but because we're the same religion now, it cancels out. Uh, I would like to... We can abduct him, put him in our prison, but we can just demonically possess from a distance. Attempt to possess Bian Wenjing with a Jotun, making him fanatically loyal to you. This may have repercussions on your soul. We need 150 dark power. But I guess we'll wait and see what happens with that one. We need money. You know what we need? We need fucking money. Let's just send the troops. That's all. That's, that's enough troops. Let's send all the ships. And let's be tactful about our raiding. No, we won't go after artifacts this time. Oh... 
Observing the stars at night, you begin to sense some strange irregular movements. You also notice that some stars seem to appear and disappear at odd times. You need to study this more. There's a star that disappears when I look directly at it. We gain paranoid, which will give us more intrigue. Obviously, make us more resistant to murder plots and things. We lose a little bit of diplomacy. There's also a chance we gain diligent, which will be incredible. Plus one to everything. Vassal opinion, same trait. Come on. Come on. Give me diligent. Oh, we got it. Yes. Okay, that's great news. Just more skilled overall is obviously fantastic. And this guy's only young still. He's only 30. Fucking hell. He's not really that young anymore, I suppose. Right. Raiders, let's get going. With the Christmas music blasting in the background. With the fury of a thousand berserkers from Iceland. We're going we're gonna to get that gold. And I'm raising all the ships because the more ships we have, the more gold we can carry. Let's fill them. Let's bring back the full 300. That'll be 300 prestige, 300 gold. That'll pay off our debts. And we can build up Iceland quite substantially. The stubborn Baron of Altis land is already getting on my nerves. My wife, J.U., sends the irritation offense to give me advice on the matter. I hope she can save me now. 80% chance that we're getting content. Because our wife is just going to deal with it for us. I can work this out for myself. Thank you, wife. No! Oh! My acquaintance and the guy who was to be our heir, Bokvard, has died. Oh my god, he died without leaving an heir, so the blood of Gandalf, I think, is lost. His brother also died without an heir. Oh, but his brother was from a different mother. I see. Is that the end of that branch of our dynasty? Click to show descendants. None! Gandalf's legacy is gone, and you see, that is the fickleness of CK2. We could have been this guy with his diligence, his kindness, his Damascus sword, his attractiveness, his Midas touch. He was a great character with a bloodline, and that's it. Game over for him. We'll now play as Fat Arm once again by default there. Hello, dear nephew. Hello, King Cole. King Cole of Finmark. Cole, if you were to die... Cole, if you were to die... Not only would he get his Damascus steel, we would inherit everything of his on mainland Scandinavia, which I don't want, but we could reunify it. We could vassalize Arnie. We could give it all to Arnie. We could retake this one, give it all to him as well. Or maybe just give it all to him because he's quick and coming out a lot better. King Cole, our uncle. The guy who's been claiming our titles. Who's been very much... I think sat in our shadow waiting for us to die. A man I fired, don't forget, because I was very suspicious of him. If we were to... If we were to take him out... 8% chance plot power. Fucking hell. He does have 16 intrigue and we've only got 11. Maybe we could blast him with some demon powers? He wants to marry my half-sister. Wait, my half-sister? Oh, that is my half-sister. I thought it was my daughter. Right, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, sure, you can marry Pope Slayer. We're going to get her back eventually anyway. Don't worry about it. He also wants to marry my... Oh, you want to take her as a concubine? Wait, what happens then? He's going to... Oh, it's a secondary wife. Oh, we take secondary wives, not concubines now? Oh, shit. Well, that's good because it means that any other kids you get aren't affected by... Um, you know, being born to a concubine. They don't get that dipl their diplomacy loss straight off the bat. Huh. Fat arm. Has idolized it. Now, it does play against a martial education, but hear me out when I say it's actually quite good for that. Erudite is fantastic if he manages to get that. Zealous is very, very good for a berserker. Bear in mind he's a barbarian, but I'm choosing to interpret that in the CK terms as berserker because I think that makes the most sense. A zealous warrior of Odin could be quite nice. So we're absolutely going to pick that. And I think he's going to come out just fine. Sorry, I was enjoying the... <laughs> the very, very inappropriate soundtrack. Kill. Maim. Steal us the gold. Fill the boats. Merry Christmas, Iceland. Merry fucking Christmas. Wow, this is actually going really well. Look at this. This is a castle, too. We're just going to cut a swath through these places. And these are independent. Nobody's coming to save Athelbert of Northumbria. How appropriate that the Vikings would go for Northumbria as their first proper feudal place that we're not only going to siege, we're going to burn it the fuck down. We're going to rip through the entire thing. It's not Lindisfarne. Lindisfarne was the first one. That would make way more sense. We'll deal with that one too in a second. Don't worry. The research you're conducting over Observatory of Night is proving deeply fascinating. You could push your studies further, but you need to purchase more equipment to make it meaningful. Absolutely. We're about to bring in all that money anyway. Failed Sally by the Defender. The defense of Bamberg launched an unsuccessful raid against the besiegers, taking heavy losses. Nice. There you go. Not going to cost us any troops for the siege. Thank you. They did it again. 
Surrender comes sooner. And boom. Oh. He had an imitation relic that we destroyed. So that means it's a duplicate of a relic we have. So it's probably Tang artwork. Maybe a skull cup or calligraphy or something like that. What does the Lusty Frankish Mage do? I didn't even uh, made, do. I didn't even read it. Monthly piety. Minus 0 0.1. That's not really a problem. Uh, diplomacy plus 1. Fertility plus 10%. XP plus 5. That's very, very good. That's actually genuinely good. How many books can we equip? One out of four. Okay. We might have to raise that limit because there are many, many mods that add books in this mod pack. There's a lot of books. Good. We've destroyed that one. My son. Oh. My son, Fatam, seems unwilling to take into the consideration the circumstance of his birth and the constellations affecting his destiny. He does not want to be a Scorpio. Or we say it's unacceptable. Um... Dynasty opinion minus 10, same trait opinion minus 5, offset trait opinion minus 15. So it means everybody would dislike him. Yeah, you know what? I'm actually alright getting that because all star signs count as opposite. So it will only be other S Scorpios that like him slightly more, but even then it's a minus 5. Yeah, don't let the stars dictate your future. Make your own destiny. Manifest. How much have we got? 64 gold already. And that's the castle. Castles generally have the least chance of becoming brave. He either comes out brave or dull. This will make or break this character. Brave, fantastic for any martial character, of course. Dull will destroy him. Fatam, I believe in you. He's done it. Fatam Farmer, son. Wowie. Okay, this is fantastic. Burn it down as a celebration. I want some money. This tiny child, the Lord Mayor of Veglia, is asking for some, for an investment. You know what? It's your money. It was not. It was our money. Bill cost plus five percent. You piece of shit. Now we've got to make up for his mistakes. Brilliant. Eight gold from that one. Very nice. Let's get the city. Now, cities generally contain the most wealth because they're a, they're a city. That's where everybody lives. Oh, shit. We've got a smuggler's ring. That's all right. We can pay them off in a second. Don't worry about it. We've only filled up the boats so with 93, but all these independent English counties, it's, we're just going to have to rip them apart. Allow the jewel. Yeah, whatever. So I don't give a shit. Boom. 23 gold from the siege. 101 gold from the, from the, from the raiding itself. My God. And some of this money is going directly into our treasury. So really, we're probably going to make about 400 gold in total. Lindisfarne, you're next on the chopping block. Really, you should have been first, like I said, for historical accuracy. But we're not here for that shit. We're here to play the character. What a great day, though. What a redemption art. We've actually become a bard. We've dealt with our enemies with dark magic. And there's potential for us to reunite. Oh, look at that. To reunite our mainland Scandinavian brethren. One, I am... Oh, God, No. I am in town one day when I hear a guard shout, Stop! You violated the law! With superhuman speed, he catches a thief and drags the criminal to, to jail. Most remarkable. Or, I must reward the guard for this. Lose five gold, reward a dutiful guard, giving high morale of armies and prestige. I feel like um, a Viking raider in Lindisfarne, rewarding a guard for uh, apprehending a man who took things that isn't his, is a fucking terrible idea. I'll just take the prestige. <laughs> pay the corner fine or serve your sentence. Then pay with your blood. Oh, thank you. Speaking of paying in blood, we might be giving a mission now from our... Look at that. 296. I said we'd fill the ships. I said we would fill the ships. And um, fill the ships we shall. We've become possessed. Oh, God. Though my last act of worship has been some time ago, I can still sense an inhuman touch upon my soul. Whenever I think about what I did, I've become a changed man. We've been possessed by a Jotun. The giant king Varma of Eastland. Wowee. I resist my foul impulses. Oh god, and magical corruption again. I didn't do anything! My wife has gone all crazy-eyed as well. That's illegal. I didn't even fucking do anything. Oh. I mean, to be fair, we did summon a raven out of thin air. How are we doing with them boats? They're full. We managed to pick up the pocket change that we missed before. And now we head back with glory. Glory. Prestige gold. Look at it. Massive loot. Oh. The Rurikid in Rus. In Eastern... Uh, the... Oh, right. I see. Sorry. In Eastern Europe. I was reading the drop cap as part of the... Uh, as part of the sentence. In Eastern Europe, where the tribal warriors of Eastern Slavs Aya, a Nordic... I, sorry. A Nordic warrior, Rurik, has invaded the Slavic tribes of Eastern Europe and carved out realm of his own. The establishment of the Rurikid dynasty has the potential to another, unite the region under the new dynastic banner, which could alter the region's cultural and religious foundations forever. 
is an inspiration to all Norsemen. They go the starting foundation there of Russia itself. He got the art of war blood. Wow, we. Holy crap. And there he is. Good for you. Okay. And we've got some more tech points coming up. This fucking, honestly, the tech point theft that we've got going on. We're stealing everything. People, just not artifacts. We're stealing the one thing that I actually want to steal the most of all, which is um, nice and frustrating, eh? Let's go ahead and throw somebody under here. Now, I want to deal with... I want to deal with our... What the fuck happened to these lands? Did he fuck it already? You son of a bitch. Kill him. Can we kill him? We can kill him. What's our chance to kill him? 9%. Still not very good. I would like to finish this man. I would like to kill him dead. Tainted touch. We need to be in the same realm as him. Or we need to be a foe. Or it needs to be in our society. Recruit him. So that we can touch him taintedly. Uh, I'll take the prestige. Thank you. Well, it's just that noble event. We've seen it a few times before. I start skipping over certain events that we've seen a little bit before. Like this one, for example. We need to read it every time. Meeting with King Kull. I made sure only to cautiously question the absolute power of his almighty Odin. Thankful, it seems my carefully chosen words have the desired effect on him. From his glittering eyes, I got the distinct impression that he enjoyed the philosophical aspects of our conversation. A sensible man. Kull. I've arranged a run-in with King Kull on the palisades of his town today. His face darkens when I attempt to discuss my worldviews. Then I offer him my favorite protection spell, a chicken leg in a leather pouch. I thought it was harmless enough, but he refuses to accept the gift. Kull is locked in his views. Okay, so there's no doing that then. Um... I really want his sword. And I'll be honest, the sword wasn't the main thing I wanted from him. It was the ability to reunite our lands on the mainland, which have been essentially split and divided so much now that they're lost. I hate to say it, I think they're gone for good. So we'll forget about that plot, as good a plot as it was. I'm a little bit annoyed that we sent our sister away as an ally in his court that now, you know, isn't going to help us out too much. We got childhood love again. Diplomacy, but minus fertility. Oh, well, that book about that sexy Frankish maid makes up for it. Uh, I can't stop thinking about those prisoners in my dungeon. They're at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them, to hear their sweet screams and see the panic in their eyes. Do you want to torture Ragnar? No. We could ransom Ragnar. We can't. I'm going to sacrifice him. Fuck you. Sacrifice to hell. There's only 10 dark power. Can we just sacrifice him, like, normally? Fortunately not. Uh, if he gets 70 gold, we could ransom him out. That's never going to happen. Sacrifice Ragnar. Why can't I do that? He does not... Oh, if you publicly follow our religion, we can't do it. Oh, what a penis. Okay, never mind. Well, back on the boats we go. I think it's been long overdue since we had a trip to Rome. I'm sure they've recovered plenty of their gold and their artifacts. How are you looking, Popey? Bear in mind, you can give... Oh, my God. You can give artifacts to the Pope as a way to endear him. So you generally find that a lot of artifacts will conglomerate in Rome. When an artifact goes to Rome, say a priest from a random court who becomes a cardinal somewhere has an artifact... When they go to Rome, they take it with them, but they can never leave Rome. So Rome really does just become this basin of really, really powerful artifacts and stuff. Dear King Varma, it's my uncle. I knew I should have killed you when I had the chance, which I didn't, but it's still in theory what I should have done. We're experiencing a plague of pirates on our coast, and there's a rumor that you're supporting them. Can you put my mind to ease regarding this? I assume it's not true. A strange accusation. He's up to something. Or I reassure him. No. What are you up to? We know we're not funding pirates, you big bitch. He's clapping back. King Varma, your aggressive words only serve to strengthen my suspicion regarding your low character and pros propensity to underhanded dealings. Clearly you are planning some dark deed. I demand you cease at once. I should back down before this breaks our relationship. No, fuck you. May the cur choke on his foul tongue. Our non-aggression pact is broken. And that does mean if we get a claim on his lands, we could take it. The problem is we would need his dynasty to die out. If we were to uh, if we were to inherit his things. So I'm not just going to declare war and get a province that I'm going to give away. I'm not interested in mainland Scandinavia. Where we are in Iceland is far more convenient for raiding. It's a lot safer. We haven't got diseases to worry about. Say, for example, oh, I don't know. There was this crazy bubonic plague that broke out. We would probably be all right. Oh, someone smuggled food into the Pope. Not like into the Pope. I mean, into his lands. Not like into his mouth. Oh, here you go. As my troops ransacked the Temple of Rome, they uncovered an interesting relic that he had hidden away. We've stolen its flower vase. We have sieged and kidnapped. Okay. Any <laughs> any people are uh, speakers of Celtic languages. Get ready for this one. Derba Gale Mac Gabrain. Thank you. You're coming with me. Gabriella Rangabes. You're coming with me as well. Parthena Skepastos. Virginia Galb... What the fuck? He had a whole harem. What's wrong with her? 
<laughs> oh my god. Madam. Oh my god, look, some of these people are horrifying. There's a whole Greek dynasty that's fucked up. I know exactly what's caused that. So, certain facial features are determined by your traits. Because some of the traits were randomized, those have been inherited and passed down. <laughs> We've got a whole dynasty of fucky faced Greek people. My god. <laughs> well, you're definitely getting sacrificed. We've got Damian Orbitello. Hello. Uh, Adelaza. Fucking good lord. He, he genuinely had a whole harem. I guess it was all the women and children taking refuge from the big stinky Viking raiders. All in our prison. Wait. We only got three prisoners after all. Are they on the ships? We're going to bring them home? I'm very annoyed by that. You promised me You promised me all of those ladies. Oh my god, we can fully burn down Rome. We got his flower vase though. We should probably see what that does. A papal flower vase, you say? Rename. We're going to rename that to the papal flower vase. There you go. Papal flower vase. Boom. There you go. A lovely flower vase, expertly made. Gives fertility. General opinion is, is always nice to get. Thank you. Sverka has been going around also Sam, for a few days now. Praising me as one of the rise, wisest rulers the island has ever seen. I'll be honest. You're really not wrong there. Sverka has now offered... Oh, he, what, I see what you, were, what you were doing. He's such a good ruler. He's so great. I love him. Everybody loves him. By the way, can I get an all-expenses-paid trip to China? He wants a holiday? Fine. Get out of here. I feel like sending a... A magically corrupted werewolf. What the fuck? I feel like sending a, a, a werewolf to China. Yeah, you know, fuck it. Do it. It's a rat. It's a rat. Get rid of it. We lose the trait bra brave. Blair. Not like I care. I'm getting content. I'll hunt it down myself. Giving either wrath, diligent, cruel, or brave. Or I feel sympathy for my brothers and sisters. The rats. <laughs> and who can forget dear rat boy. I think I will hunt that rat down myself. Wrath, diligent, cruel, or brave. We got a trait that we already had. And to be honest, that could be cruel, could be diligent, could be brave. The only thing we didn't have was wrath in that situation. So that was just playing the character, really. Give me a gold, Pope. Give me a gold. I'm so glad we're up to the point now where we can actually burn down. Fully siege. We got more ladies, but obviously we, I don't think we actually did. A daughter was born to Vaughn and... Oh, the, the, the dwarf. Oh, shit. Bountiful. Oh, wowee. Okay. That's my, my niece. Okay. Uh, here, let's start training you in etiquette then. You can make for some good marriage product. Bjorg. Uh, Bjorg. Is there a pun I can go for here? Bjorg Van's daughter. Um, she's born to a sexual dwarf. I haven't got anything in mind right now, but we can rename it whenever. So let me, let me think about that one, huh? Wow, the Pope has a lot of gold. My God. It's like it's some sort of racket or something. My Cirrus Aster tells me in reference to increasing the religious order among the people I've been met with great success. Praise God Thor, God the Thunder, and God the All Father, and God Odin. I feel like some of those are a little bit <laughs> a little bit irrelevant. A little bit of a tautology there, but never mind. Right, burn this shit down. No, we're about to siege down the city in Rome. If there's riches to be had, 137. It's gonna be from there. We can't actually build, uh, burn down Tivoli. Yeah, no, that that is that has got way too many defenders, but I think our ships our ships are already full from even part of that, three quarters of that province. And we've got riches and prestige like none other. Ah, oh, another quest? There you go. Hell's favors, Vicindamada Varma. The great mighty Hell has given us so much. Capture and sacrifice the servant of Odin. Oh. You want a, just want a person of our religion. I might already have someone of our religion. In fact, I have them right here. Sacrifice to Hell. Ten dark power. That doesn't work. Why? I don't understand. Offer them someone who pledged their life to Odin. Oh! What they mean by that is a priest. They don't mean someone who literally... Who literally... Worships... Odin. Right, okay. Um, like a seer or something like that. Like Asta would do it, but she's a very... Oh, she's not that good, fucker. Uh, attempt to abduct. Asta, come here. Hopefully she counts. I don't, I don't know if she would count. I think... Oh, fat arm. Oh, you moron idiot. Moron child. Chance of him becoming diligent, though. He got it. Chance of him becoming ambitious. He gets it. Chance of him becoming proud. I mean, we might as well go for that, given that he's already got ambitious. Okay, you know what? Redemption arc. 
We're Robert Trip. You know, that was a redemption arc in the last minute. Ambitious, intelligent, arguably two of the best traits. Tough soldier, we can level up by putting him in a society. We can level that by having him lead troops. That's not a problem. Zealous, brave, cruel, stubborn, greedy, diligent, ambitious, proud. Tell me that those aren't the perfect traits for a barbarian. Those are good. Those are very, very good, and I'm happy to see that. All right, you know what? Could have been worse. And by the way, he's a tough soldier. He's not a military expert. He's just a tough soldier. He's a barbarian. It didn't say he's going to be a knight or a paladin, which I think it's fair to say those would be. Uh, get him, get in my sack. Get in my sack, and then sacrifice her. It doesn't count. Fuck, we need, like, an actual priest. Where's the Filka these days? Hmm. In Upland, huh? Hmm. You can't deny the Filka is a priest of Odin. And if we sacrificed him, that would be the greatest sacrifice we've ever seen in this realm. I've got to go for it. We have to, we have to, we have to give it a go. Uh, let's have a sacrifice, things. We got a lot of people from... Uh, what if we banish her? Three gold. You know, we'll just sacrifice her. Fuck it. What, are you worth any money? Baron Simone for 14 gold. It's not really worth it. I'd rather just sacrifice you. I can hardly wait. I put word amongst my brethren that I want to... <laughs> I want to kidnap Filka Rogenvalder, the bean counter. What's he got in his backpack? We could take that from him. We could take his fur coat. Just like our original character did. All the way back at the very start of the first half of that first episode. Have the Blute. Sacrifice Asta. I'll take the Prestige. I'll take the Piety. And when she dies, if she's our courtier anyway, I'm pretty sure we get the gold, right? Or three gold that she has. Goodbye, Elder Ragnar. My son has food poisoning. Oh, shit. Call my court physician. Uh, where's your Blessed Virgin now, Adelaza? And let's not... I mean, that just asked if we wanted to torture a woman we just sacrificed, which I won't be doing. Uh, Arnie the Evil. That uh, doesn't sound like a pretty good successor, although we were supposed to have a barbarian, so maybe Arnie the Evil works. Why are they not voting Fatam? A vote for Fatam is a vote for Iceland. What's wrong with you people? He looks entirely unqualified. Hey, eh? He's too young. He's a reckless brute. Oh my god, some of them got minus a thousand. He looks entirely unqualified. What the fuck are you talking about? Send my child to the Imperial Academy in China. Will he come back? Oh, I don't want to do that. Not if he's gone for good. Send your child to the Imperial Academy in China. He gains the trait student. Fatam joins Yi Zhao Zhang Yu Ching the Scholar. Oh, I don't know if he comes back though, and I don't want to risk that. But also, if it's if it's something just to give him those bones. He's a barbarian. Well, he wants to be a barbarian. Maybe we want to bring glory to our dynasty. We're not playing him yet, don't forget. Send your child to the Imperial Academy. I wonder if we get him back. I almost feel like I need to look that up before I, before I take such a big gamble. We can inspire Melorism for 150 piety. Yeah. Uh... Only by knowing ourselves can we leave the 50% chance of him gaining one intrigue and one learning. Done. He gained intrigue. That's fine. Makes him slightly more... Ah, sent to the Goji... Zhijian. I, I mean, what mod adds that? I need to look this up fast. Apologies to do this mid-episode, but this could be a big opportunity to bring glory to our dynasty. Uh, CK2. It is the workshop mod university. Uh... You can send your child to the corresponding university under the following conditions. Once at the university, your child will spend three to five years and receive traits or events that you can deal with based on what personality traits they are. Results can vary to high tier traits only obtainable at the university, but generally good or bad traits might even cost come, cost them their graduation. So we should set, we can send him to a Chinese university. His grandfather was the emperor. Do it. There he goes. Fat Arm is in hiding. Well, he's not in hiding. He's just that's just meant to say he's like inaccessible, basically. There he is. Chinese philosopher. A Gong Shi. This person has graduated from the Guo Zhijian and has passed the imperial examination at the national level, plus due to everything. Fucking hell. Headmaster. He's got a bear from the pet shop. <laughs> wow. Okay. You know what? Good for you. Good for you, Xiao Zhang. Okay. Well, shit. I mean, he might hate that because, again, he wants to be that barbarian. He's got martial education. Maybe he'll learn some, who knows, some Eastern fighting styles. It could still work in his favor. 
I just hope he ends up coming back okay. That's really exciting. That's cool. Uh, so, one prisoner left is the girl that we could we'll just ransom her out. Because I would rather spend that as an investment into the realm. We're going to fucking abduct the Filker. Get him. Get him. Oh, so I could probably return from the Tang Empire. He fucked it up. We failed. Uh, then we failed to capture Filker Rugenvalder. Though apparently they saw a few guard and captured a servant in the attempt. Even worse, it appears that Rogenbauer has suspected my involvement in the ambush. He must have recognized somebody from our court. Idiots. We've just pissed off our religious head. Can he excommunicate? I sure as hope Halley can't. Well, Sverka, welcome to being our marshal again. What's our council looking like? We've had a lot of a lot of shifts around this uh, this session. Just because we've had a lot going on here. Bring back that gold. Boom. There it is. We've amassed wealth. So now what we'll do... Try and get below, for, uh, below that 500 gold. We've got just like a naval supplies merchant in the capital. It gives us 5% galleys. That should then allow us to pick the ambition to build a war chest. Then we just immediately head back out and let's disband these zealots. Because unfortunately the zealots can't raid. Put you on the ships. Head back out immediately. Just get back up to 500. No, give me those fucking zealots for Christ's sake. Get out. Sorry, that's me being a fool. Like forgetting how to control this body game. What's the disband button these days? There we are. Get out. Get out. Get out. You guys back on the ships. And let's head back down to... Oh, what's economy map mode? E? What is economy map mode? You? You for economy, of course. There you go. So let's go for, like, Norfolk. They've got a lot of gold hanging around there, I suppose. Let's see what they've got on their, uh... On their to-do list. K kidnap him. Come on. Give me a redemption arc. If we kidnap... I think kidnapping and sacrificing the head of the Norse reformed religion would be enough. That would be a big enough bold play to name our dynasty after. Fuck! Come on! That would be something that would put us in their history books. I've got to try it. I've got to try it. And Norfolk and Suffolk, is it just these two provinces? It really is. I know that Norfolk and Suffolk are those two provinces. What I meant is, has he got any other land? Because that means this raid is going to be very, very easy. No one is going to come and help them. We could clear out both of these. Oh, nice. They're hungry. Very good. Approve the scheme. Get him. Fuck! One day we'll get him. Just gonna keep trying. The problem is every time we attempt it, it's gonna... Ah! Oh. Okay, he's a student. That's good. Uh, they're now agreeing to elect him. Well, that's great news. Okay. Curse that resentful old fool. Gunhilda has been going around placing Gila, claiming that she'd be a much better king than I do. Fuck you. That's my daughter. What's wrong with her? She's depressed and she's got her eyes... I think her eyes are supposed to be closed there. She just looks a bit demonic. Curse that resentful old fool. We should have more feasts and shit. See if we can endear the people to us. Okay, let's get this 50 gold. Then I've got a plan. A big plan coming up. Come on, get the filker. Fucking hell. We'll keep trying. Every time we do that, it's going to cost us more and more of our own soul. We're, we're running a big risk here. Opponents reciting a tale about a historical event long, long ago before me in an audience. I realized he's made a mistake and there were some accuracies in his retelling of what happened. Correct him. History should not be lies. Correct him. The true history is more interesting. Correct him. I want to show off my knowledge. We want to bring glory. We're already proud, though. Gregarious? We're a po we, we are a bard. We want to be a bard. We've already got that legendary poetry going on. Let's correct the bard in our court. Or the poet, in this case. If we become honest... Oh, uh, sorry. Not honest. Gregarious. We didn't get anything. That's okay, though. Thank you for more tech points. Thetford has been looted of 42 gold. Thank you. Now to move on to the real cash cows here. Eldam, Lynn, give me that. And what a great day this has been for... Look, more tech points. What a great day this has been for Iceland. It's all starting... No, be patient. It's all starting to kick off. My steward has managed to build an army of warriors. Thank you. I don't know why... No, I want you overseeing construction. Well, I mean, that's fine for the time being. Again, it's more warriors that we can't use because uh, they're getting careful of raiding, so... Sorry, troops. Time to go. Wowie. All right. Let's get this gold. Thank you very much. We're almost done. Burn down Lynn. That should be enough to do it. Get me the Filker. We'll get him eventually. We'll get him eventually. The older he gets, the weaker he becomes. We're going to get this. Trust me. Never supplies much has been built. Fantastic news. Uh, Sunborn's one of our relatives. Really don't care too much. We've built the war chest. Okay, fantastic news. The boats are almost full. We might as well go for Suffolk while we're here. Hello. We've got ourselves a mare, which we could always sacrifice. Let him rot. Fuck you. We've got a rash, though. 
a side effect of visiting Norfolk for more than five minutes. We've got the great box. Bian Wenjing, clad you in wet grass and told you to sleep on this nature's embrace against your rash. Excellent symptom treatment. Thank you, Bian. We've got the fever. Could this be the end of us? We've got great pox. Minus two health. Our son's in China. Shit. Ah. Uh... Is there anything we can do? Hold a great trouble festival. Let's mark that special interest because that's quite good. Compose a book. We'll start worrying about that in a second. Um. Shit. Okay. Let's try and improve our diplomacy, seeing as we're a bard. We may die. I trust Bian Wenjing enough. He's a scholar. He's got good learning. He's shrewd. He knows what he's doing. Let's trust him. We could go for the gamble. Big risk, big reward. It could cure us instantly. It could kill us instantly. As long as you know what you're doing. Oh, no. Ill treatment. He bought us a concoction made from buckthorn and senna. We felt a churning in our bowels. As you held in anguish, when Shing assured you that the foundness was expelled in your feces. You liar. You absolute liar. We could die. Minus one. Minus two. Does possessed have any effects? No. We're, we're frail. Which is minus 0 0.5. What about magic? The magic corruption gives us a little bit of health, though. Oh, God. No. Be patient. Come on. We need something for this goddamn dynasty. Hopefully, it'll just pass. Hopefully, we'll survive it. Oh! Prisoners. Whether or not we actually get those prisoners, I'm not sure. Let's finish off this siege. Actually, no. The boats are full. There's no point carrying on. Not unless we want prisoners. We're, look, see, we looted zero there. We burned it down quite literally for shits and giggles. Right, get home. We need to rest. We need to lick our wounds. There you go. Lots of gold. And then let's wait. Let's wait and see if we can survive this. Thank you all for watching. Tomorrow, we'll continue as farmer. At the age of 36, this could be the end of him. Ill treatment and great pox along with frail health due to dark magic. Our son is in China being educated. If we die now, things could be messy. If we die, though, he will immediately come back. I would love for him to finish that education, though. And tomorrow, there is so much to do. 839 gold. 1,400 prestige. We can build things. And we could craft, in fact, our own dynastic sword. And more importantly, I'm going to kidnap that fucking Filka. See you all then.